Well, hello, pandas and other trash enthusiasts. Today, oop, <clears throat> today we have a seemingly random kind of little adventure. Uh, I found an item on Facebook Marketplace. I thought I could make a little money off of it. I went and picked it up, and I'll show you later. But I don't think I don't think I can make any money off of that. But but I made a new friend, and we're here at the auction house because I want to show you an idea I had. I gotta get in here first. All right, we're here. Now we've actually been here before, like a couple years ago. We uh, we picked up a whole pallet. Uh, well, we picked up a few items here and made some okay money off of it. But I didn't realize they also have uh, sea cans for storage that uh, they auction right here. I'm not sure if they brought them here after they default. No, that doesn't make any sense. Anyway, I got my new friend David over there. He picked up one of these. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, wow, that's all I have to say. Let me let me show you. So these boxes and everything here, and all that. This is all David's problem. <laughs> and this is only half of what the problem used to be. Uh, yeah, he's already started. He's gonna be here for a few days. It's an absolute dream come true. Treasures as far as the eye can see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the trick is, so uh, I guess today the real thing is um, trying to pick out everything that could possibly be turned into money and, and getting that out and then um, after that cleaning up all the junk because there is a lot of junk. And I'm here to help because I'm a nosy little bugger and I want to know. You find anything good so far? Well, here's two actually that I really think are pretty cool. Those are pretty cool. <laughs> They're old oil cans. Yeah. I don't know how old, but chances are they're pretty freaking old. We've also found a hockey book that potentially, potentially could have Wayne Gretzky's autograph in it. Is that yours? That is also ours. Well, it's got some good copper on it. Yes, it does. <laughs> and I don't think I'm going to get any money for it, but it's going to help me out with a little bit of scrap. Yeah, is this is this like a trickle charger? You know, I don't know, because it really doesn't say. F1. Yeah, so it's just a standard 110 volt DC amps. Change, remove, connect, on off. Oh, it's got an on off and a power on. That's and you can turn on the ammeter. Something should have been there. Yep. I'm guessing a gauge like this, but for volts. Power supply rectifier. Well, if it works, it's probably worth looking up. Yep, and if not, dandy scrap. There you go. It's all about the scrap. We've made, how much do we make now? At least $3 just in aluminum. <laughs> Three whole dollars? No, 30, 30. Okay. So that's a dump run. There you go. Yeah, that's the the real trick is that there's so much junk it's going to cost, a, you know, a decent bit to unload everything at the dump because you can't just sneak all this into your garbage at home. It's too much. Yeah, way too much. The reason why I wanted to check this out is because I've thought about doing this, but I wanted to. Um, I'm scared of how much work it would be to clear all the junk out and whether it would actually be worth the time or not. So uh, maybe we'll get an update. How do you feel? The key part is don't buy a 20-foot sea can. <laughs> I don't know. 20 <laughs> feet of junk, how could you not make money? <laughs> and that's not all. It's not just the one. He bought two of these. I wanted this locker because I saw these three cases. Mm. Which would be a pass load framing nailer, a Hilti chipping hammer or hammer drill, and it didn't matter at that point because that was just a bonus. These two alone would have paid for all the dump fees spoiler and all the time, <laughs> but nothing in it. Sorry to spoil the, uh, uh, the big reveal, but I have sold these things before. I had, uh, I got like 20 or 30 bucks before. Oh, just packed right in there. But now if you stand up and look back, as soon as you get to that weird black looking piece there, like a little table, it tapers off. Okay. okay. So this one actually has less in it. So I don't know what treasures. DVDs just heaved on top. Oh, Camp Rock. Oh, oh what am I dropping on me? Okay, that's a nice piece of aluminum. Right? Yeah. 
That's so a dollar fifty right there. So many bulbs. What are these? PDL. Positioning data link. Whole box of them. Oh, I got a dollar hockey puck here. Oh. <laughs> Is that okay, so we got a dollar hockey puck? We have a little bit of 75 copper. cents in copper. Yeah. Uh, we got another dollar in aluminum there. <laughs> so I just got to make up another 97.50. <laughs> hey, some jack stands. Whenever you buy a unit, if you pay $5, you pay $500. You've already lost your money. <laughs> Case in point. Yeah. Oh, that could have been a good one. Yeah, but look, you know, you oh, got brass fittings. Oh, okay. I'm um, that was 10 cents. It's coming out of your pay. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I just got here. What are Ooh. those? Oh. Those are for putting in concrete to fasten things down. Those are actually pretty heavy gauge. Those are expensive if you had to buy them. And you got a box full of wire Ooh. down here too. Let's take a peek in here. Okay. These casters, those big ones. I can easily sell those for like 15 bucks each, 10 bucks each. Yeah. Those are expensive casters. And those are, well, they're not like new, new, but they look pretty good. Nope. Okay. What's this? Is that a light? Oh yeah, it's a, it's an outdoor, it's a weather shielded light. Looks like it's got a crack on the end though. All right. Jeez, this is fun. Got some light bulbs. Oh, what do we got here? It's plastic. It's black. Oh, looks like we have a box of lights. Not even joking. We have a box of bulbs. Oh, literally a big old box of bulbs. Oh, wow. Every oh, and there's a like a grow bulb. Sorry. Sorry. No, that's all good. I don't even know if any of those are any good. But this. Oh, cool. The old school huge battery searchlights. Doesn't work, but. Built-in, sidewinder, thermal protector, electric pump. Do you have a charger for it? Oh, oh, this one has a charger. Goes oh, right to it's your... the 12-volt the searchlight. That's, that's a pretty great find, actually. Booster cables. Yeah. Keep them or sell them. The DVD is just spilling out everywhere. Oh, hey. There's a good one. Oh, full metal jacket. Here we go. Is it, is it going to tell me something? Am I going to find something really cool in here? Like an empty toolbox? <laughs> Another empty box. Oh, a case of filters. Yeah. yeah probably for... It's not pretty big. Bigger, though. Like heavy equipment. Is that an instrument? It's a non-empty box. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody cassettes. Uh, only comes with the key. That's good. Oh, uh, yeah. You wouldn't want anyone... Sneaking away with some of your cassettes. So this makes probably about a uh, hundred and fifty cassette tapes we have now. Oh man, I think it's almost harder to make money on cassettes than it is on DVDs because like ninety percent of them are, you know, home recordings. More cassettes. More cassettes and the old school way to hold them. Mmm, buddy. Feels like an empty box. Well, even so, it's a pretty great box. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like you could drop it out of the sky and... Well, it did hold something. Something. Modem satellite. Oh. Oh, so this is probably uh, military. Yeah, definitely looks like it would survive a fall from... Well, a pretty serious fall. <laughs> I bet you can get more than five. This right here? You know what that is? That is a fence for an industrial sized table saw. Big oh. One. Looks like a piece of scrap aluminum to me. It looks like a piece of scrap aluminum to me, too. This one's about to fall, so. Oh my goodness. Did you find the rest of it? Thing is, it looks like it's full of desks. If you look down the side now, oh all no. you see <laughs> is an endless sea of desks. I'm on the desk. There's a dolly that you just stepped on, so that's okay. Oh, hey. Oh. There is a toolbox here with some tools. In it. Hey. Does it? Oh. Does it have the remote? Because that that would change things. Probably not. Oh my lord, lamp light in Christ. Yeah, you gotta 
you got a veritable smorgasbord of desks in here. Casters! I'm gonna make some money off this locker just in casters. What's that? This? Oh yeah, that's a... Another... Probably battery charger. But what's the deal with the rest of it? Oh, this is a full... A full lamp that's just been, uh... Flattened. It's actually pretty new. That's uh, that's probably an easy twenty bucks. What is this oh. arm? What am I on right now? Well, some, this, it's a big lamp. What a huge arm! And then there's oh, uh, yeah. there's safety. There's safety arms for barrier-free bathrooms and showers. That's an entire box full of those. Yeah, those are actually kind of. I don't know what his fantasy was with lights. But we've got uh, like every make and model and color. Jeez. Just, these desks. <laughs> these are really going to be something. Actually, you know what? Hey, you want to buy a desk? Oh, they're. Don't see you cheap. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, there's another box full of these things. Oh, here you go. Oh, Dustbuster 3000. A wet dry vac. Uh, hey, we just sold a battery operated one with no battery for like 10 bucks. So this well, one has a cord. 15 bucks, if it works. I think probably get more than 15 bucks. I mean, I don't know. I've never even heard of this. Stinger. All right, we dug a little further. Um, we got this, uh, this nice looking heat gun, an Unger. And uh, these are a pair of bearing kits for a, a Toyota 7.8. That sounds a little large. I don't know what that means. And that, like it's a, a construction light for construction size. Cool, cool. He loves lights. There's your. Those are. Yep, those are some heavy duty casters. Those and are those are those like gray rubber, like non marking wheels. Oh. These are for some. Yeah, see, that's the particular. part that kind of throws me off because that's, that's a strange mounting. Oh, more radio stuff. Silver tip. Brant. Oh, Brant? Oh, that's probably for an excavator. Because Brant is, a, is like an excavator. That could be a box of heavy equipment parts. For a, what are those? Those are some crazy lifting lugs. Hmm. This is rated for four tons. Wow. <laughs> so that's eight tons worth of lifting power right there. And another one, huh? Hmm. And a two ton, and a two ton, and this is five ton. Ooh! <laughs> wow! Panasonic. Handheld computer with a printer or cassette adapter. What do you mean a cassette? Filter. Is it bulb. Filter. Yeah, oil filter. Fuel filter. And. <laughs> what was that? Well, now I'm curious. It's like a portfolio. It's wow. Like quite heavy, actually. Quite heavy and awkward. And there's more. And there's more. Huh. The Long Wave. And check these ones out. Ooh, those are cool. I like those. They'd be cool just to frame. You Like, just for the, the... They're pretty neat. But I think these are iron-on transfers. I think you can... Uh, like, just iron on the shirt? I'm pretty sure. Huh. I mean, I wouldn't test it out with the cool one, but... Uh, what else you got? Yeah, American Anthem. I got three colors. Well, that was kind of cool. Uh, we came home with a few treasures because he was just going to throw these in. These were in the garbage uh, because you know, he's got a lot of work to do and he didn't want to bother with the little bits of steel. Uh, but it came with a few treasures. This is a um, uh, a car heater for like a you know, like an old Volkswagen Bug that doesn't actually have a heater in it. We need those around here, so I should be able to sell that for a couple bucks. And here is a uh, uh, a pry bar, which I didn't actually have a good pry bar, so this is pretty sweet. Somebody wrote Snap on on it. Um, I don't really believe that, but I like it. Uh, and then two computers, which are. Well, this one has a Windows 7 sticker, and this one has a uh, Windows 98 Pentium 3 sticker, so I think this one might have a better processor in it, but it's not going to be, you know, one of those uh, 
vintage Celeron. It's basically like solid gold. Uh, but still, it's the oldest one I've found in a while, so it's kind of cool. I like its ugly beige case. Might be able to sell that actually to somebody who wants to go real retro. We'll crack into that in a second. Well, more than a second. We got another adventure to go on. I'm going to unload this and, uh, well, then I'll show you. All right, we're here. A veritable wonderland. The of horde. Scrap treasures. Yes, you've actually met my friend. Uh, I think so. We've we've done exactly this before, uh, before he moved to this place. Uh, he had piled up a whole bunch of scrap in the backyard and he needed to get rid of it fast. Uh, so this is not the exact same thing, but he's got this, this whole heap. And uh, he asked if I wanted to help. And you know me in trash, I absolutely do. So, so this trailer, He's, uh, he's the first person, I know a lot of you have been doing this, but he's the first person who's been telling me I need to get a hold of a, a small trailer to haul behind the car, because that's exactly what he does, and it's just where the steel goes. Got some pretty serious pieces in there, a nice collection of uh, brake rotors and, you know, steel. It's worth doing. A little collection of carburetors. Another trailer. And around there we got some aluminum that we got to sort through. Looks like it keeps going. <laughs> I can't imagine what's in those bins, but I bet it's all treasure. Built a nice fire pit out of a uh, stainless steel drum for me, um, um, a dryer. Yeah, yeah. We got some some dirty brass. We got some copper. Yeah. We gotta drill some holes in the bottom of those buckets. Yeah. And this has got to be stainless. That's stainless. And then uh, got a bunch of. I know it doesn't look like it, but that is just steel. And there's a little bit of brass. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. Wire, got your cast aluminum. Got a... Partially sorted. Oh, uh, this looks like one of my bins. Just mixed, needs to be gone through. Yeah, that's pretty much most of it, I think. Couple nice rims. And I see you got a, a real nice stash of batteries hiding back there. Yeah, there's quite a few. And there really is. The price on those sucks right now. Yeah, that's why I haven't taken them in. That's why I just keep piling them up there, but... Oh, this is just to be sorted. Right on. Oh, look. AMC Gremlin mud flaps. From, wow. From the 70s. They're brand new. There's no way that's original. It is. These are original AMC Gremlin flaps. Yeah, okay, you can tell just by the ed the vinyl. This was hand cut on an assembly line in the 70s by a worker. <laughs> It's a subcompact V8, and those things are crazy. All right, I got some, uh, I got my tools, I got my gloves. Let's get started. Yeah, you know, it's real nice. <laughs> oh man, I wish I hadn't gone and done that. I would have bought that from you. That is not... Look, it's perfect. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll show you my pewter horror. You can take your pick out of a bunch of shit if you really want something. Well, I liked this. I've got so Freaking good at crush it right in front of me. Probably better so I don't actually have to take this thing home and, and love it and find a home for it. But still! Oh, these mugs. The rooms are really neat. Yeah, some of the castings are really pretty. I mean, this one got kind of dinged up, so they gave it to me for a buck. Taking out computer just by look. I don't. Solid copper, made in Portugal. Nice. So, uh, solid copper. That's mm. actually number one, actually. Well, now with the yeah, with the little bits of solder. And it's like in yeah, different color inside. Tinned inside. Yeah. What do we got here? It's actually really nice, and that's probably brass up there. So, that one's the uh, angle grinder attention pile. Clip that. Oh, that one's actually populated. These are big enough to be freaking walking sticks, eh? <laughs> Those are nice. They, they, these were all like this. They were like 20 feet long. There was two 20-foot sections. Thick, too. Yeah, it's heavy. And I had a hard time trying to flatten it, and so I was like, screw it, and I just bought the hacksaw. <laughs> yeah, I was surprised. Like, when I saw, when you told me that, I was like, why not just prop it up against but, a piece but yeah, of concrete? But yeah, it's like really freaking tough. Yeah, even stomping on that, that would just hurt my feet. Yeah, I was like, oh, 
That's gonna fall over for sure. That's okay. All right. Wire. Is, is Dude, this is actually a really nice stash. Yeah, I, I just haven't gone through this. Shit. All right. Uh, empty. Function number one. Another one of those. Mm. I have the same pliers. I love these things. Yeah, they're good. I bought them. I didn't even mean to buy them. I just needed something, and I was in a parts store. So I'm like, ah, fine. They're like thirty dollars, and I was all cheese. Mm, yeah, these expensive. And oh, these are actually good. Yeah, I know they're great. I ended up buying uh, another size as well. See, these ones are always such a wiener to like get cleaned up. I'm generally just tossing the dirty then. Yeah, like cut the. Uh, Cause I don't know, man. Here's our garbage. Oh, there you are. All right, garbage. Um, that could be dirty aluminum, but I would love to get this thing out if possible. Oh, hey, that one's not bad. Yeah, sometimes they're real tight. Yeah. So where's the dirty aluminum? Yeah. Some drywall. Oh. Is that a dugout? Oh, it is too. Yeah, I found that. Oh no, that's a that's a is that a vape? I think it so. It is. Yeah. That's got a 510 connector. Well, you can have it if you want it. I mean, it's missing the thing for the thing. Oh yeah. So I bet someone paid a couple hundred bucks for this. Yeah. This doesn't look like one of those off the shelf ones. It looks like one of the specialty, yeah. you know, special order Reddit ones. Oh yeah. The Cal uh, uh Cal I, frick, I don't know. Looks like dirty brass to me. Yeah, that's what I figured. Frick. Uh, do you think they're gonna care about the zip ties on your data cable? Uh, probably. I mean, Empire can be real picky. Yeah. I like their prices, but they... Oh, well, there's a reason that they're picky and they have good prices. Yeah. Those you know. both go hand in hand. There we go. This is just trash. This must be one of those situations where you just grab the whole box and figure to deal with it later. Yeah, that was it. You know what? I should do that in a video. Like, these things here. Are they worth it? Yeah, like when you've got that big hunk of steel on them, how much are you actually increasing them? The old ham ham. I was asking for suggestions and ideas, and uh, somebody made a really good one that I liked, and then I forgot it. It was basically the the word for hammer in like eight different European languages. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah really like to hold on. Just getting worse and worse. There you go. I'll definitely give you a nice little cut. Oh I'm not too worried, but I appreciate that. Yeah, I know you get content, but I'll cut you in because I wouldn't have dealt with it otherwise, so Hey you buy me lunch, it's probably good. <laughs> Yeah, it is fun, although I should probably start thinking about uh, my back these days. I'm getting old, yeah. squatting down and moving heavy stuff. is a great combo. Put some stuff. Oh, you got a yoke? Oh, that's a nice looking one. Yeah, there's some weight on that. It's a good looking yoke. Um, did you come up with a mar... Uh, yeah, let's toss them in there. Because I save all those, and I don't know how many freaking times I've needed marettes, and I was like, oh yeah, I got them. I'm going to have to run out and buy one. You know, I should probably... You just put them in a peanut butter jar and then forget about them. I've been running into an issue with uh, with people's junk collections. Though, oh, yeah. Because I've inherited a bunch. Yeah. And, like, there's only so many screws and nails oh, I want exactly. around the house. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I mean, like, sometimes it's worth keeping that stuff. Sometimes definitely not. Number two, I presume. Yeah. All right. These I've been looking forward to. Look at the size of it! Alright, so that's... I got some number two. And some number one. Yeah, they're nice and 
that's the hard stop. It's Let me check in. Yeah, that's brass. Otherwise. You ever strip these, you guys? Oh, yeah, I strip those every time. Oh, okay. Love those old ones. Yeah. I did actually go and pick up some, uh, some proper bits, but I did it my way. I got them for like 50 cents a piece at a pawn shop. There you go. There's a yoke to smash. Yeah, I suppose, eh? Yeah, nice braided wire in there. Number two. The recommended scrap hammer from uh, uh, Project Shop Florida. He didn't, like, st strictly recommend it. Ooh, that was fun. But he's, it's the one I always see him use. Maybe he did specifically say something about this type. Either way, he said it was the right one, and I believe him. Yeah, the light's on. Battery's almost dead, though. Okay. So it's almost time. That was easy. That was really easy. Okay. <laughs> Another. Sometimes it's just like that. But then the rest of these... Geez, this one was great. I'm used to them being just packed full of that, like, yeah, that waxy adhesive and, yeah. garbage. It's actually probably number one. All right, let's see if we can use this like Ancient blade. Neolithic. I actually don't use a, a razor blade usually. I got my big dumb chef's knife, but I mean, that seems to be working okay. yeah, this is actually pretty good. Maybe my my big dumb chef knife is not the move. Yeah, I think that's the original blade in that thing too. <laughs> well, it's gonna be all gummed up after this. Germany, you know, it's been around for a little while. I know a guy, so I bought, I bought this piece of pewter and it said made in occupied Japan. So, <laughs> the United States occupied Japan from 1945 till 1949, and so anything made, he's like, oh, well, the dialogue isn't even necessarily dialogue at that point, it's just background noise. You're experiencing, you know, I was like, I want to hear what they're bloody saying. You know, yeah, I didn't... somebody's, you know, a writer spent time to write that dialogue. I want to know what they're saying. Oh, the poor writers, especially right now. Yeah, funny enough, my uh, my uncle and aunt, they made a movie, micro budget film, and micro budget is 250,000 US dollars. She's, I wish I could get a micro budget for some of our short films. Yeah. All right. Ford Model T's, you know, the, the Ford shuffle where you have to like push in the clutch and then hold the throttle and then the clutch brake and oh my god, it's a dance. But some people really enjoy the challenge of um, from, I believe it was actually a Chevy and backfired the crank and went right and it just crushed her against the ground and killed her. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, so old cars were not the safest. Alright, well that'll be number two no matter what you do. Yeah. As nice as it is to have a blade this sharp, I definitely prefer the longer stroke yeah, of uh, the big blade. With everything in the bottom, yeah, probably not far off 200 bucks. Oh my god! <laughs> this sucks. You're gonna bail, bail early. Yep. Should have bailed earlier than this, but uh, uh, number one sounds good to me. Oh, yeah, 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 you gotta... I think this is the insides of, uh, coax. I think I pulled these apart a long time ago. So you had one for... Oh, you were just throwing it in there, weren't you? Yeah. So this is... 10 gauge, so if a person wanted to, this would be worth stripping. Where's your strip, Meister? I didn't... 
Huh. No, I didn't, because I didn't feel like sitting here. <laughs> Oh, you got that one. <laughs> oh, there's some I haven't done yet this year. Corn on the cob. Uh, I've learned how to make Mexican street corn. What does that mean? Uh, you oh, you mean like the, like, I forget what they're called. Uh, elote. Elote, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 it's freaking delicious. No, it's pretty heavy. I think this is actually tinned copper. Okay. okay. But, the, yeah. And I don't know how you. I don't bother with the short ones, but you've already done most of them. Yeah. Oh, and they started dinging me a little bit on the paper too. They want it separate, which is annoying, because like the price difference is actually very, very little. So it's basically the same price. They just want it separate. Ah, uh, you and these dang TVs. Yeah, I did them a while ago. Yeah, you, I would just say uh, just cut it so you can see the cable inside and then toss the number one. Oh, you can see the... Oh, yeah. We're going to put that in number one. Yeah. And hopefully you get away with it. You'll have to get back to me as to what they say. And that's another one of those and another bit of that. So that's that. Feels, feels like we're splitting. I think that's most of your mixed buckets, and oh no, this is a pretty big one. That is the super unsorted. That'll be fun. I don't know if this is worth, uh, oh, that's dirty aluminum, that's cute. Um, nice. Yeah, I guess, eh? That stuff will... Yeah, I want to put a gate in here. Oh. Yeah, I guess that would be number two. I don't know. You could ask them, because it's, like, percentage-wise, the silver is going to be nothing. nothing. Yeah. Well, I'm going to throw it at number one, and they'll, they'll pick it out and say, hey, what's the silver be? Like... Some number two. And then, looks like the rest of that's all cleaning. Yep, pretty much, I think so. Well... Not those. Yeah. Functional rubber is there's a first one in there. What does that look like? Yeah, you're fine. Oh, geez, the weight in there. Yeah, I've got those two. Oh, shoot, I just... Oh, oh. That's why. All right. Mystery solved. I shouldn't have thrown it down. Yeah, that one is brass. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. That's a monster. Those ones are always worth. Stripping? Oh, yeah. Okay. Sad but true. All right. Come on. Oh, you got... There's a few down in there. Oh, yeah. Jeez, I shouldn't have tilted that. That's all right. I had no idea. Yeah, I think that's well documented. I don't think these are brass. Aluminum alloy, yeah. But we're calling it dirty aluminum. That looks like brass. It's actually pretty nice, but they're all so tight together you can't use it for anything but keys. Clean, dirty. Yeah, in hindsight, I should have brought the Stripmeister, but I don't even like using it without the vise. Yeah. 
You probably have a vice, though. I have two vices. My buddy needed one. I was like, well, I have a spare. Not that one. Maybe, maybe just cut it there, because it's going to be... Yeah, they're uh here's the protected side, and here's the hail side. <laughs> it's such a shame, because that is that is brand new and somebody would have paid money for that. Yeah. It's like where's it go to and yeah. what do we got over here? It's like a room and stuff. Jesus, was that was that you? Did you do this? No, no, that's how I got it. That's crazy. It's pretty mangled, eh? Yeah. I don't know what it was, but it was a wreck or a car crash or bloody something. It looks like it got caught in the tracks of a caterpillar or something. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like... It's pretty mangled and we're trying to get all the little bolts in. No, I mean, you could try. Yeah, you could try a lot of this. I wouldn't judge you, but I'm not going to do it. An aluminum piston or something? Hmm. Well... Oh, he's cut really good, these cutters. Yeah, I like those a lot, but they're a bit unwieldy for, like... Smaller. Yeah, I wish I had both. I just keep forgetting my, uh, so many things. Hmm. Yeah, that, that's one of those, like, what do I do? <laughs> yeah. That's why I think I didn't know I didn't know what to do. There's enough bits of steel on it, I think I'd be quite happy to call it Dirty Brass. Yeah. Because you're going to need to get that. Well, that wouldn't be that hard. It's a bit of work. Oh yeah. But there's a lot of little nubbins of steel in it. That looks like it weighs nothing. Oh. Where's the weight coming from? The aluminum doesn't weigh that much, does it? Mm. Huh. I'd be happy you can throw it dirty. Glad to hear it. That's alright, it's made a very minimal mess. Now this one is exactly what's worth stripping, but it's so small it This is a good wrench. But I gotta clean it up. Just gotta throw in my rock tumbler. Comes out brand new. All right. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw that in the steel. <laughs> I don't even want to try. Well, let's. Oh yeah, that's plastic. That's zinc. Oh, and it's an aluminum sleeve as well. Wow. Yeah. That's not even. I bet this is brass. Yeah. <laughs> that's terrible. Yeah, I'm gonna say it could go in the steel. That one sucks. That's true. You know, if nothing else, it's nice to have scrap just as a, a way to get rid of junk. Oh, yeah. I mean, hell, you know, when I had to do that move and I called you over, okay, I got like a back here full of crap. I'm gonna... It's cheaper than the dump run. Yeah. All right. Uh, now, there's two ways we could go about this. I'm going to try slicing it, but I've also, you can just like bash them with a hammer and then you let, you'll fold these up by peeling them out. I made that look so difficult. Ah! Hit my thumb on that thing like an idiot. I should should look for mine. And then I can borrow your Remington screwdriver. Yeah, Evolved <laughs> technique there. I mean, honestly, if you get to pick gunsmith, it would be like a couple of bucks. Well, that's just like an aluminum yeah. coil in there. I guess you could just unthread the bolts and it comes out. Okay. Oh my god, those bolts are on there tight. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I might just call that dirty aluminum. You think they can fix that, or should I just? You know, actually, I'm just gonna bash the plastic. There you go. Yeah, you know why?
Yeah, they sure don't make them like they used to. Well, it's still got steel on it, so I'll call it dirty aluminum, but... Yeah. <laughs> You're really selling me on it, though. Like, that's not me every week, but there are... Weeks where it's like, I really wish this could go away. A noble one. <laughs> Hammer. Right. Yeah. Ow. The elastic. Oh, it's, it's strung back and gotcha. Yeah, it snapped me in the finger. Oh, okay. Sherwood Wire's been kind of crap lately, to be honest. On a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I don't know. Like, I just, like, called them and, like, on a lot of things, they're not... Well, the hammer's the way to go. Yeah, I mean, it's fun. Alright, so we got, uh... Stainless, but is it really enough to make a dirty stainless bin? I don't think so. Nope. No. Alright. We got, we got the RAM, we got the processor, we got the extruded aluminum, and that is as far as we're going with that. There, I don't know where you want that exactly, because you got a plan for it, but... Extrusion for the extruded god! If yeah, That one's definitely... But this one's part aluminum and part cast yeah well and then that is <laughs> do you want a hand with that I got it man <laughs> well it's got a DVD RW well it did now it's full cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, there she goes. Hey. Some dirt cast. That's actually nice. Cast, yeah, I know, right? That's crazy. The just the build quality on this thing. Yeah, it was a nice big stainless flare with you and, and now it's not. I have never seen cast aluminum stamped on cast aluminum. Well, it's actually cast into the cast aluminum. <laughs> right. It's cast into cast aluminum into cast aluminum. More <sighs> than the average person, if not the same as the average person. But I just want to throw all these old timers who have the same interest around here. It's a mega storage. Oh, it's your poor paint. You know, that's actually really good condition. Oh, no. I'm dumb. <laughs> No, oh, you're non-magnetic. You're in the clear. Oh, hey, hey. Oh. I mean, this is like, do I you really want to deal with all the cast or just throw it in the steel? I mean, it's got a big piece of brass in it, too. It's a big bar on the front. Is that brass? Yeah, it's all brass. It's a big tube. I think. I don't think that is. I think that's probably coated or something. It's steel. You're right. Uh, so you've got some chunks of brass, which you could... Uh, you know, I'd be totally okay if we just throw this in steel. Yeah? Yeah. I'm well, where's the... It really is mostly steel. Yeah. That's cool. It's on like a gimbal and everything. Like it oh, wow. That's so neat. Arms. It's like a brass, full brass brass. Cast brass. They cast the cast. Brass. <laughs> cast brass. Don't you forget what this barbecue is made of. And uh, which one? Is this is this aluminum? Yeah, the whole thing.
Are you enjoying yourself? Oh yeah. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna scrap them. I have scrapped a lot of perfectly good material. Yeah. And then the last thing is these. I don't think this is gonna be terribly interesting. So let's try a little bit of the. There. <laughs> it's getting a little rusty. All right, so uh, th these ones, just too much of a pain. Those are going in as dirty. And then we got the clean. And then we got all the stuff over there. Nice. <laughs> well, I'd say that went pretty well. I wish I could say it's mine, but that's okay. I got a couple, couple treasures to bring home myself. So uh, you let us know how you do, eh? Maybe I'll come by. Maybe, yeah. I'm not sure. We haven't decided yet, but I can't wait to see how much this is. If only for that. I'm a little envious. I'm not gonna lie. Big copper. And that was an afternoon scrapping. We're back again. Uh, I will throw the receipt up on the screen because people might be interested. I know I'm interested. Can you imagine if I had to try and fit all of that in there? Well, I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure Thub has done something similar. But uh, yeah, I prefer this option. And then I don't have to haul this around all the time. I can leave that in my backyard and fill it up slowly, and then when it fills up, get rid of it. There's some clean extruded, some painted extruded. It's all dirty aluminum. More dirty aluminum. Got the rads that Drake broke down. Even the kitchen sink. And all that lovely looking copper, number one. Or number two, all the other bins are stacked inside of each other. Some number two copper, and then there's the brass and it didn't even all fit I had to get some in the bloody matrix here and we got two rims all the sheet the sheathing for the BX a bit more stainless in here and some other bits and bobs and uh, Evan said he was gonna um, uh, pay me some off the top but I really don't I, it, I mean, like, who doesn't need a little extra, a little extra uh, gas money? But I told him no, it's definitely fine. I don't need anything. It was nice just to hang out and uh, see what his scrap pile looked like. But he did uh, give me a bunch of things. That, so he he sent me home with the uh, the three um, dryer power cords because he doesn't have a stripmeister and uh, it's just easier for me to strip them and uh, yeah it'd be kind of a shame to not strip those heavy duty cables plus uh, the fingerboard and the, the RAM and the processor from that, uh, that computer and then he also gave me a, um, a sleeve of cutting discs because he has a, a bunch of them he got them on some ridiculous sale and I guess he's just not going through them very fast and a bottle of isopropyl alcohol that um, he just found a couple cases of and was like, you want some? Like, sure, absolutely. What am I gonna use it for? Probably starting fires, I'm not really sure yet. Um, and I wouldn't let him melt this bowl because I like it. It's a little mashed up now, um, but it makes me happy. I like the way it looks and uh, I don't know, I'm gonna find a home for it. Find somewhere nice. Now, I realize this is not a very, um, uh, this is pretty unusual type of, I hope nobody was bored. The truth is, well, first off, let me give you a couple quick updates. This here is an engine and this here is an engine. We pulled the engine out of the black one. Uh, it's right here. It's got, uh, we did the valve cover seals and the, uh, well, it's got a, a bunch of new, like timing chain tensioners. It's got new spark plugs. Uh, we're going to do the front and rear main seals, even though they're not leaking because, you know, it's like 140,000 K and, uh, they start leaking and it would be a shame to have one of those leaks start after putting it all in there. Cause you got to pull the stupid engine to do the rear main seal or drop the transmission. Eh. You guys don't. Anyway, the car. I wanted to update you guys on the car um, because some people have been asking, and not too much has changed, but some has changed. Let me let me tell you. Wow. But that ties into the next part. So really, I guess this is the first new video I've made since we uh, hit that 100K mark, which uh, I am absolutely elated about, and uh, I owe you guys a huge thank you. But this is not the 100K subscriber special. Um, to be totally honest with you and I, I don't mean to sound uh, I haven't really been feeling it um, it's been a heck of a year uh, I feel like I get overwhelmed 
sort of easily and uh, this year has been a lot um weddings funerals breakups making up um the the vehicle issues you know the the car the trucks everything the the sponsored content and the travel and trying to and the the summer vacation and trying to make that amazing basically it's just been kind of a lot and it's not been going the way I meant for this year to go. Um, I have a, a massive, like I just keep adding to the list of videos that I'm looking forward to doing and planning on sharing with you guys. I'm really excited to do all of them because I think they're going to be great. I think you're going to enjoy them. Um, there'll be at least something for everybody, but <laughs> pretty much all of them. I need my, my workspace and this stupid thing has been occupying the space and everything else has been occupying my my time and energy and it's just um been a little too much so uh i actually spent the last two weeks basically hiding in the woods um <laughs> i i went uh, i preloaded some videos and i cruised out uh, to just try and um sit there with a notebook and try and figure out what i want the next six months a year or so to look like and uh, it's basically all been about this um I don't want to just do dumpster diving videos. We don't even have the plaque in hand from that uh, big milestone. And I'm already, like, it's all about how do we get the next plaque. And, you know, I don't want to skip over a, um, an achievement like that, which is significant. But that's just, you know, you got to grow. you got to move forward. And that's... I feel like I've been stuck and unable to grow and move forward because of all these like unexpected demands this year. The financial burden as well has been immense and I've been doing my best, but the truth is this year has really been a struggle for me. And that's the that's just the fact. But I'm not asking any of you to carry any of this burden for me. All I'm asking is for a little more patience and understanding while I get things back on track. It's been okay. I have a lot to be grateful for. You are definitely one of the biggest things, but also I, I have the, the resources and the capabilities to get through all this stuff. So I'm not, this isn't me complaining, just being honest about how you know, I've been challenged. Um, and we're working through it, but instead of spending too long being a total buzzkill, I'd like to tell you one of the best things that happened to me in the past couple weeks. This is a solo adventure. One of the places that I absolutely had to go is my favorite place on the planet so far. It's a hot spring hidden in the mountains in BC. It's not developed or commercial. Um, it's not exactly a secret, but I'm not going to be telling anybody how to get there because I don't personally want a ton of people there. It's not the super easiest thing to get to. You can't. Anyways, I managed to get myself to the starting point and then at five in the morning I got up to hike myself up there with all of the stuff that I wanted in a bucket and uh, it was it was serene. It was idyllic. There was nobody else there. I made myself a coffee and I brought a mango. Now, that may not seem significant, but have you ever heard of a shower orange? A shower orange is uh, a phrase that was popular on Reddit a few years back, and the idea is you take an orange, the fruit, and eat it in the shower. And I know that sounds totally mundane, but the difference about eating it in the shower is that you can just go absolutely primal on that friggin' orange, right? Just tear it in half with your hands and just like... <laughs> Just make an absolute mess and it doesn't matter because it's private and you're in the shower so there's really no losing no matter how much of a mess you make now the mango actually goes back to when I was in Cuba um, my dear friend her mother's partner brought over some mangoes from the tree in his yard one morning and uh, handed them out to uh, all of us the group of friends um, with no cutting board or knife or anything. And I was a little confused because I'd never, you know, uh, eaten a mango any other way other than with cutlery. Um, so I have to wait for a little bit of guidance and I see all the people around me are just, um, did not miss a beat. Just went right at that mango, just like bit into the skin, peeled it with their teeth and just got right into it. That's it. So that's what I brought to enjoy 
along with my coffee in the hot pool at the hot spring. And I'm sitting there, it's an absolutely idyllic scene, it's just soaking in the hot water with the smell of sulfur all around, and I've got my mango and I just... <sighs> <laughs> it was an absolutely feral scene and it's a good thing that nobody else was around at the time because the noises that came out of my body were not fit for polite conversation. <laughs> it was incredible. It's exactly what I wanted. I was blissed out. I felt a lot better. So, um, I strongly encourage you to experience for yourself the joy of a shower orange or possibly a hot spring mango, although it may not be the easiest thing to set up. Um, so I came back feeling very blissed and very blessed. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to get this crap out of here and get back to making all the videos that I have been looking forward to sharing with all of you. There's going to be a 100k subscriber special. There's going to be a channel update. I don't have any like big elaborate plans. I'm just saying they're coming and I just wanted to be clear that I don't have it in me this week. I also don't really want to answer a whole bunch of questions in the comments about it. So like I appreciate your support. It's not a big deal. I'm fine. <laughs> and for those of you who don't like the talky talky parts, well I assume you clicked off a while ago. Now I don't have battery for these, but I do want to get into this thing. Ready, let's have a look in there. This is one of those CPUs that's on a fingerboard, I think. Hyundai. That's not right. Yeah, it's a green fiber board with pins. Uh, got a network card, fingerboard, and three sticks of RAM. Not bad, not bad. And a hard drive. The rest of it I'm calling steel because I want to. I don't make any money off of those things. I want to do a gold recovery video, but uh, currently not set up to do that sort of stuff. That is set for the future. It's actually on the calendar, um, which keeps getting pushed. Anyway, there was another thing. Somebody sent mail, and it's a little heavy, which is exciting. There was one other thing that I forgot to mention. While I was out there, I, I uh, did some filming for another video that I want to do that's been on my mind for a long time. Um, but it involved bopping out into some, uh, some, some pretty uneven forestry service roads and, uh, I got some, some great pics, but, um, I got some great footage, not enough to make a video, so I'm gonna have to go again, but, uh, I learned the folly of getting cheap bearings. Uh, I, I didn't do anything particularly stupid, but somehow still managed to, uh, completely bugger the bearings on my car, both front ones, and that was a fun adventure. I had to go pick up the kid from his summer camp at like 10 a.m. the next morning. It was a four-hour drive away from my brother's place where I was staying, and we were sitting there without the right tools, just hammering out the old bearings with a, a trailer ball hitch, because it's the only thing of an appropriate size I could find in the Canadian Tire, and they didn't have the tool that they normally have to rent for that thing. They just didn't have it in stock. So we were sitting there hammering on the concrete floor till like 2.30 in the morning. It was super fun. Uh, and then it still wasn't working right, so I had to go and get an alignment on uh, on the island, which cost more there. So that was like, in total, that was like 750 bucks, kind of a screw up. Uh, so yeah, that, that added to the fun. Um, am I gonna... Cute. <laughs> Happy birthday-ish. Thanks, Catherine. This is perfect. I know I literally just talked about how I how I did things my way and I put them together in like a, a super cheap kind of a way, which I did. Um, and they are kind of a mess. So this is definitely a big improvement and this will be the one that lives in the vehicle. Thank you. Nice.
And these are theoretically a good brand, so they should hold up to my uh, careless behavior. Thanks again. That's amazing. Thanks all of you again. Thank you so much. Um, I hope it wasn't too uh, jarring, the, the random insertions of various. You know, well, we got away with it before. So it's probably not that big of a deal. It's sort of the style around here. <sighs> I'm so glad you're here. Thanks for keeping me company. Thanks for being patient. Thanks for leaving it better than you found it. I'll see you on the next one. Keep doing the thing.